What's up beautiful people? I'm Trudy Tilly and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, go ahead, take a moment, subscribe. You don't want to miss any of my videos, so turn your post notification on. As you can tell by the title, today we're doing a long awaited overdue. You guys have been asking me about my brows and what I do for almost two years now. So today I'm going to be sharing with you every single product that I use, all my tips and tricks to getting a flawless brow. So if you're interested, just keep watching. In the house board, in the house board, we're going to do our brows. So let's go over the products that you would need. First, you would need some sort of brow product, whether that's a pencil, a pomade, I prefer to go with pomades right now so I always want to give you guys a high end and a low end for all the products that I'm going to be talking about and starting with the low end product I have the lock on line lock on liner and brow cream by elf this is one of the best drugstore eye product that I found I've had this probably going on like four years now and it's still going strong if she gets dry I put some contact solution and listen this she's new again okay so elf lock on liner and then for more high end i have the anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade in the color chocolate so i don't, I don't think i mentioned it but the color that i have in the elf is espresso anastasia beverly hills elf the choice is yours next you're going to use some sort of tool to apply the product and of course, I have two options. This is the Luxie 215 uh, angled brush, and then I have the Morphe R44 brush. So the shape that you wanna look for in your brow tool is something that is slanted and it's on an angle. It's very thin and sturdy. You don't want it to be fluffy because we're not like blending too much. You want it to be really stiff so that when you're drawing any lines, it's you know straight so as you notice this tool has a spoolie at the end and this is important because when it comes on to blending and you know making your brows look really natural and even this is going to be your best friend next you're going to need a tool to clean up your brows and carve out carve them out a little bit so they just have a, a nicer shape if you get messy the two brushes that i have is the morphe m08 brush and then I have the MAC 212. Now these are two completely different shapes. One is a little bit more rounder, which is really good for the carving of the brow. And then this one is, it's, it's similar to the previous brush, but it's straight. So sometimes I like to use this if this one's dirty, but I'm just trying to show you that you can achieve the same results with using the same brush. This one, you just have to have a little bit more of a sturdier hand. So a second but optional brow product is the Glossier Brow Flick in the color brown. This I like to use more specifically in the front of my brows because I really like to bring my brows in. I don't like them to be separated. This is, we're not parting the Dead Sea here. There's no reason for them to be east and west so i like that unibrow type of vibe if you don't you completely skip this step you don't need it if you don't have this a regular pencil will do the only one that i have and i could really recommend is the precisely my brow by benefit and I was doing my edges with that. Don't. Next product you're going to need is a concealer. Now, if you're a beginner and you get like really messy with your brows, the concealer is going to come in clutch because this is going to help you clean up those mistakes, okay? And of course, you can use whatever you have on and you can probably even use your foundation if you don't really care for concealers. I'm going to give you guys four different options. I have two low end and two high end. For the low end, I have the LA Girl Pro Concealer. You guys must know about this. I think everybody and their mother knows about this. And then I have the ColourPop No Filter Matte Concealers. The LA Girl is in the color Fawn and the ColourPop is Dark 42. So if you use me as color reference or shade reference, those are the two colors that I use. This one you have to get online, but this one, but the LA Girl is fairly accessible and it's pretty much at every single drugstore. On the high end, I like the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I have in, I go in between the color Deep and Santan, but most importantly, the consistency on these are really, really good. And then I also like the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I have it in the color Amon. So starting out with my Dip Brow Pomade, and I'm gonna dip it in here 
and I pick up quite a, a good amount but if you think you have too much the back of your hand is always your palette it's always your it's, it's always a tool so you just you know dab it off first things first brush all the hair in one direction I like to start at my arch and I'm just going to one swipe so so I gave myself a nice little arch picking up a little bit more product right I'm going to draw the outline for the bottom portion of my eye I like my brows to have more of a unibrow shape so I'm going to go a little bit further than I need to Okay, so once you have that done, whatever product you have left on your brush, just go in and start to fill in the little sparse area. So that arch that I gave myself, there's always like a little gap right here. So I have to like fill it in. The key to a perfect brow is to just give very light strokes. You never want to go in with like a really heavy hand because then it takes so much effort to blend out and now notice i am not going past where my brows start although i like a unibrow i'm not putting any of this product on the front of my brows i'm just going to buff it out with the spoolie and just make it have that transition effect so right here is going to be a lot lighter until that line that was at the front is almost gone some people like their tail to be a lot longer. Whatever you feel complements your face, go ahead and make that adjustment. So if you want a higher arch, if you want it to be thinner, I'm just going to give myself a little bit more of a tail because we can use it. So as you can see, the difference between this brow that is all filled in and this one that is completely empty, it looks a lot more fuller, it has a better shape, and it just complements my face a lot more. Next, grab your glossier or your pencil. Now this I think is the game changer for all brows. I don't know, but I hate to see when your brows literally start where your eyes start. It just looks so harsh, it just looks so off. You have to give it a little bit of something in the front. You have to give it some fluff. Bring them in a little bit and you'll see a complete difference in your brows. I hold my pencil like this and because the point is at the bottom I pretty much just put it where I want and then draw up So this you have to be very, very light handed. I really prefer to do this with a pencil, but I'm just trying out a new technique and a new product. So it's not bad, but you just have to make sure that you have a super duper light hand. Now, once you have your hair like strokes, just go back in with your spoolie and go brush over them so that they don't look so harsh. So as you can see, my brows on this side pretty much starts where my eye begins versus this one, it starts where my the bridge of my nose. Next, I'm going to go in with my concealer. Today, I'm opting for my tarp shape. I'm going to mix it with a lighter shade because I want it to not be too light going in with my morphe m08 brush and i'm gonna begin to carve my brows out so i like to start in the front and you pretty much follow the line that you made bring it up onto the arch and as you're going down you're like curving your hand so you want to make sure that you're in a comfortable position that you can rotate your wrist then using the rest of the product i'm going to bring that down onto my eyelid 
and this is just a good prep for your eyeshadow so because this brush is a little bit too small I'm going to use a more fluffier brush. This is the Morphe M173 brush. And this is just a dome-shaped brush. It just covers a little bit more surface area. So I like to use this to, you know, blend everything out so it's nice and seamless. And for the top portion of my brows, I'm going to go in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Amand. And I'm going to flip my brush. I'm using the opposite side. And you don't want to pick up too much product. Make sure you share it out. I don't start in the front. I just start like midway, like here. Because I can always like share it out this way. But if I start by putting too much product here, then my brows become like super boxy and it just looks unreal. No, nobody ever wants to be in a box. So don't put your brows in a box. And then I can go to the front and just blend it out. You see that? Perfect. And you want to make sure that you get the tail end, especially around the corner and back around to the arch. Because sometimes when you just stop the concealer right here, it kind of looks crazy. So, you know, blend everything so that it just looks as seamless as possible. So one thing you wanna check for when you're done is to make sure that the the beginning points are almost identical, as close as you can get them. I know brows are sisters, not twins. So you just wanna look at them from different angles to make sure that they look as relatable as possible. So that is pretty much it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it was helpful, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. That really helps out my channel and it lets me know to do more videos like these. So yeah brows done you guys got this i want to see you guys get these brows together okay and if you have any questions hit me up on instagram i'll be sure to answer and, and you can always chat it up with me so until next time i'll catch you in my next one